All right, my friends. <clears throat> now, today's Revit tip has the potential to be very confusing. Okay? Because when we're talking about BIM 360 files, there seems to be some confusion about which file it updates and when. Okay? Because there are several things you can actually do in Revit and BIM 360. <clears throat> and so when you do these different things, it causes files to update. But which ones update when? I'm going to define it for you right now. I'm going to tell you. The different things that you can actually do in Revit is hit save, right? You can save. You can save your file. While you're peacefully working in Revit, you can hit save. You can also synchronize. What? Yep, you can synchronize your file. You can also publish your file. Okay, you guys have heard of that? There's a button for publishing your file. It's not the same as synchronize. It's not the same as save. It's a third thing. And then there's a thing called creating a package. Yep, that's another thing. And wait for it, when one of your consultants would like to update their copy of your file, they do yet another thing called consume. So here we go. You're saving, synchronizing, publishing, creating a package, and consuming. Five things are happening, and you got to know which file is actually updating during each of these different things, okay? So, <clears throat> let's back all the way up to save. I'm just going to talk. This is... Hopefully, it's not too confusing. When you're in Revit and you are working on a on your project, okay? You're working on your project, and it's up on BIM 360. We're going to skip all the possibilities of working on your own server. This is only about what happens on BIM 360. When you are working along and you are... Looking outside, you see there's clouds brewing and a possibility of an electrical storm. Or you see someone over there walking around near the extension cord that's connected to your computer. And you're a little fearful that maybe your computer could turn off or get a power surge or something. When you hit save, bing, the little save button. Not synchronize, just save. That saves your local copy on your local computer so that you don't have to redo your work in the event of a power outage. That's the only file that updates when you hit save. It's your local copy. Okay? Now, when you hit synchronize, something else happens. And I'm going to switch over and share my screen now so that you can see the file that updates online when you hit synchronize. And then I'm going to show you which files update on each of the other types of things you can do. Okay? The whole publish, package, consume. All right. So here, let me share my screen. Share my screen with you. Here we go. Okay. Here we are. Okay, we are online on a project called Architects Office. Okay, I'm gonna assume, I know this is a very large assumption, but I'm gonna assume you're an architecture firm. You just uh, extrapolate the information if you're not, okay? Just pretend with me for one moment that you are an architecture firm. Okay, when you click synchronize your file that's sitting online that you have used to open i'm going to say 
you've placed it under project files and in a directory called Revit models and there's another directory called 01 architecture. This is just how I set up my files, friends. My architecture project that I'm working on is this file right here. When you see it, it's in the architecture directory right there. That file updates when I hit synchronize. If the structural engineer has that file in that directory linked into their project, it will update when they do a, what do you call it? A, I got it written down, hold on. When they, when they um, update link, they have to do an update link. You know how you go refresh link down in the bottom left in Revit, you can go um, down to your links and you can right click on it, reload link. That's it. That's the word I'm looking for, reload link. I did a synchronize. This file updates online. And if my structural engineer or my MEP or any other person that's working also in Revit, they have their files in these other directories, but they are linking this file into theirs, all they have to do is a reload the link and it will update. So if I have moved a wall or a door or the toilet or a sink or any other thing in my model, they're going to see it move when they do a reload, okay? Because they have decided to link live to this file. And you, they can't stop it from updating. When they either reload my file by right clicking on it and just saying reload link, that'll update it. Or if they log out, go home, come back the next day and turn their project back on, it's going to reload it automatically. So they'll see the changes. That's the file that updates when you hit synchronize. Okay? So what's publish about? If you publish your project, you should be doing that on a regular basis, okay? That's for you. That is all about you. It's not to make everybody else on the team happy. It's all about you. Publishing is for your sake, and here's why. Let me move my face out of the way. Do you guys see this little button over here that says V5? That's the version number, okay? The version number iterates with the next highest number whenever you hit publish. It doesn't change anything for anybody else in the world. Yes. <coughs> for anybody that's linked in with Revit, they're not going to see a change. You're going to see a change because that number, V5, is going to go to a V6 and a V7 and eventually V583, depending on how many times I hit that button. That is a good thing because that gives me a backup. Online, a backup of Revit. Synchronizing is great and all. It gives you a backup of your project that you can kind of roll back to like your local file your local file um, every time you save you have a backup of it and synchronizing but this is for BIM 360 backups I'm gonna click on that v5 and show you something it's my version history it is every single time look v1 v2 v3 4 5 and so on to a hundred, five hundred, six hundred. This is my, this gives me the ability to download that source file of anywhere in my history, anytime. Even for a year ago, I can go back and get that file. You won't be able to do that unless you hit publish. Publish gives you the ability to, it, it updates your version history and gives you a point in time so that you can roll back. If you need to, you can click that button. 
You can copy that file to another location. You can make that any one of your versions in your history make it current. You can roll back your file to that time and place and in history. It is a powerful feature, but it's for you. It's all about you. Publishing gives you a time date stamp so that you can recover your project should something really bad corrupt the file. You can always go get it from the last publish. Okay, That's what updates when you hit the publish button the version history in your project. Okay, Just telling you that right now. All right, so now, when you create a package, now, you cannot create a package unless you have design collaboration turned on in your project. <clears throat> I'm going to click on design collaboration and the screen's going to change. I'm going to pop over to the design collaboration view. Okay. And I'm just going to show you just for a second. You got to wait for it. Mm -hmm. In design collaboration, it's going to show me my, wait for it, my home area. Look, I'm going to switch this. I don't want it on MEP. Look at this. When you pull this drop down here, you can click on shared and you can click on yourself, architecture. And there's a dot in here for each package. And there is a square in here for each one of your, um, there's a square in here for each one of your, uh, what do you call it? Every time you, um, tag on it you published okay so look i published there i published there oh there's a package i published there okay so every time that i publish it puts a little square on this timeline and i could click on these and actually view it in 3d what is currently in that project at the time this is a package so if i ever reach over here and then this circle over here with a plus in it, I can create a package. When I create a package, it takes, I'm going back now, I'm changing the view, I'm going back to my files, my documents. When I create a package, it copies my file, a copy of my file, the one that I had under the 01 architectural. I'm going to go there right now. Revit Models, Architectural. Remember how I said this one right here updates whenever I synchronize? Yes. When I create a package, it copies this file and puts it down here in shared. There's a shared folder. And if I expand that, I have an architecture folder automatically. And that file is right there. Look at that. It updates it copies it here and every time i make a package it overwrites this one in this shared folder under architecture you guys with me it does when i make a package it does not update the one up here in the zero one architecture folder it updates this one down under shared architecture it updates that so if the structural guy has this file linked into his project, it's not going to update every time I hit synchronize. It's only going to update every time I create a package. It will update when I update a package. All he has to do is wait for a package to arrive and he's like, cool, a package just arrived. He'll get a notification and then he can go into his file and right click on my file and do a reload link and it will update. And this is the file that it is updating. Okay. Now you're with me. If he wants further control and sometimes MEP companies 
they don't want a file to update when somebody else makes a package. They clearly don't want it to update if somebody synchronizes, so they won't link this file in the 01 architecture. They will not link to that file into their project because they don't like it updating every single time I synchronize. MEP guys don't even like it. They won't even link to the shared one in the architecture folder. That one right there, they won't link that into their project because they don't want it to update every time I make a package. They want further control. And they can actually navigate to the um, design collaboration tab and they can click on the little circle that you saw on the architecture line my package they can click on my package and they can further click a consume button if they choose to do that it takes my file that's in my package and it copies it to yet a third location. It puts it here. Let's say the MEP guys are the ones doing this. I'm gonna expand their folder. You'll see they have a subfolder called consumed. And if I click on that, there's the package that they consumed was an architecture package. So when I highlight that, there is yet again a third copy of my project. This particular one only updates when they click on a package and consume it. It will update this file. That way, every time that I synchronize, it doesn't update their file. And every time I create a package, it doesn't update their file. They have full control over when that updates. It only will update when they consume a package, okay? So you'll see that there are actually three copies of my file in this directory structure. Mine is updating here. This file is updating every time I synchronize. The version history is updating, giving me the ability to roll back every single time I publish. This one down here under shared in the architecture directory is updating every single time I publish. And the one underneath a particular discipline's consumed folder under the correct discipline that they've chosen, that one will update only when they consume a file. All right. You guys see what I was talking about, how this has the potential of being very confusing. I hope that I have explained it well enough so that you see which files actually update when certain things happen. All right. I know that's kind of crazy. You guys can ask questions in the comments below if I miss something. But I think that's fairly definitive of which files update when certain actions happen, either on my part or on the consultant's part, which would be to consume the file. All right. Well, that's about enough of that. You guys have a fantastic time, and I hope this cleared up which files actually update when. Until we meet again, happy reveting. All right. Bye-bye.